the biggest challenges of digitizing our supply chain industry and road freight forwarding with Sender operates in particular, I think have been brought to attention, especially over the past two years. Past two years, we've seen turmoils and, and disturbances that we have never seen before. And I think that showed very clearly what is lacking. On one hand side, we have the shippers uh, who are looking to overcome their supply chain interruptions, who are looking to overcome their cost pressures from inflation, from energy shocks, from general internal improvement measures. And the other side, you have a very, very fragmented carrier base, especially in road where senders are operating, that is trying to build stability, predictability, and planability in their daily operations. And bringing these two sides better together requires technology. And this is also the reason what inspired me and my co-founders to start Sender in the first place, to actually, let's say, improve this industry for a very little point, make this industry a little bit greener and a bit more effective overall. And this only can come with technology adoption. And that's why, if you ask me, what's the biggest challenge is really educating all players in the side. And this goes for us as freight forwarders, this goes for the carriers and it goes for the sh shippers to drive more technology adoption. Machine learning and AI will become very, very important for logistics, for supply chain, and for road freight forwarding in particular. And the reason is, in order to improve what I just said in my previous question, to, you know, to improve, let's say, the different expectations and the collaboration and the transparency across uh, the entire supply chain, we need to have deeper insights in real-time visibility and what are the consequences on this. And this can only happen with a better use of data and with a stronger inclusion of machine learning and AI to really drive the insights, to really drive the predictions, what happens if something not goes wrong but changes in the supply chain, what does the consequences that all the other involved partners have, and this will only come with AI, with machine learning, with better use of our data that we all collect in this uh, industry already today. We connect large-scale enterprises, multinational companies, with small, medium-sized trucking companies in road freight who generally own five to 50 trucks. That's more or less in our sweet spot. And what we're seeing in our industry is that there's a huge waste of capacity in this industry, whereas capacity already over all of the past years has been a bottleneck due to driver shortage, due to slower vehicle production, and so on and so forth. We have roughly 25% of, let's say, the kilometers driven empty. We have a lot of, let's say, lacking drivers, and this can only be done through data, and this can only be done through resolving transparency. And this is where Sender comes in. We want to provide both sides of, let's say, visibility on their data, on their operations, help both sides to improve um, their respective operations, and find the best match between demand and supply to reduce these efficiencies, to basically reduce these capacity shortages. We'll not solve them, but we at least want to improve them. And in all that regard, also let's say reduce CO2 emissions in that industry uh, in the medium term. It is obviously very, very important that we start integrating the whole supply chain um, over time. And I think Sender, we on purpose focus on one part only. This is road freight forwarding because that's where we believed we see the biggest inefficiencies and that's where we saw the biggest lever from us. But obviously, we're one part of this entire supply chain that entails warehousing, air, sea, ocean, you all named them already. And it is all interconnected. If my learning from the past seven years in logistics, and I, I was a newcomer back then, is that everybody to some extent collaborates in this industry. And the more we manage to connect and the more we manage to share data and insights, the better we're able to manage this supply chain disruption and the better all of our respective businesses will perform over time. I think today it's very little. And that is the case because we have very, let's say, siloed places of the supply chain, which optimize themselves. And this is good and this has worked well for the past years. But I think going forward, we need to build greater integrations across these silos. And so today, in my opinion, data, machine learning, and AI plays a very small role. And Sender wants to be an active part on actually making this bigger. But everybody talks about it today. Very little can apply it because we're lacking the cross supply chain uh, data sharing today. 
So I feel over the next five, 10 years, this will grow significantly and it needs, because it needs to grow, because we are having capacity shortage and we are not see, or we continue to see the supply chain disruptions, hopefully at a smaller scale, but they will continue to exist. And this data is the only solution to that, and that's why I'm strongly convinced, I'm a strong advocate to further driving data learnings through machine learning, through AI uh, over the next years. Everybody already has a demand for it, everybody has a preference for it, and then now it's on us to actually build the backbone to also make the investments that are also part of this, and the collaboration that needs to be part of this, uh, to actually drive the database that we need to build before we can actually really apply machine learning and AI. And this works for us at Sender, this already works already on our small scale, but I think we need to make this bigger across the entire industry and across the entire supply chain. <laughs>